Member for Richmond South Center. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Congratulations for getting elected to a position of such exceptional honor. I'm proud to be one of the many witnesses of your historical success. I acknowledge the fact that I'm speaking from the unceded territory of the Musqueam and Coast Salish people. I thank them for allowing us to live, work, and play in their territory. I'm deeply grateful to the people of Richmond South Center for trusting me to represent them. Richmond South Center is not only geographically located in the heart of Richmond, it is also where the heart of Richmond resides. The majority of Richmond's nonprofit organizations and charities call Richmond South Center home. Organizations like Richmond Pathway Clubhouse, Richmond Society for Community Living, Success, Touchstone Family Association, Family Ca Richmond Cares and Richmond Gifts, Foundry Richmond, Chimo Community Services, and many more. Due to the pandemic, the need of the rich people of Richmond have grown exponentially in quality and complexity. British Columbians are experiencing unprecedented, unprecedented pressure during this challenging time. Throughout all of this, nonprofit organizations and charities have continued to courageously serve our community. However, their ability to serve effectively has been hindered by limited funding, fundraising opportunities and a reduction in the number of volunteers wanting to help during the, this pandemic. Joyce Alessaram, president of Chimo Community Services, mentioned in discussion the challenge they were facing on a number of fronts. That is why I eagerly volunteer to support the Coldest Night of the Year fundraiser. It is important, it is important now more, than, more so than ever to celebrate the unsung hero who, without exception of recognition or reward, work tirelessly to continue to support our community. I know my esteemed colleagues in this chamber will find their own meaningful ways to support their local organizations during this very challenging time and encourage my Richmond colleagues also to connect with Chimo Community Services. I apologize for that. But lastly, I would like to thank all the employees, volunteers, and directors of nonprofit organizations and charities for the continued support of Richmond residents. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to speak.